<clears throat> hey guys, this is my full review of Codename Sammy for the Google Nexus 7 tablet. Um, this is basically the exact same ROM as the one on the Galaxy Nexus, but if you notice, this just feels a lot more smoother. I don't know if it's because if it's because this has a quad core processor or it's just more powerful or it has an updated ROM. But I'm doing this review with about 8% battery life because I wanted to show you guys like the battery that I get on this ROM, which is the most important part of like any ROM is how much battery you get. And as you can see, I got one day bring this in here. You see that says one day, 12 hours, 54 minutes. So it's it's almost going on one day 13 hours and I have two hours 31 minutes screen on time and I like to keep my brightness on full brightness because it's easier to see to me so that just giving you guys the battery life of this ROM which is excellent but if you go under the ROM control slash interface this is where you get into most of the uh, features of this ROM since it's, it's the exact same as the Galaxy Nexus one, I'm not really going to go into it. But you can, if you go under General, you can of course change your custom carrier label. You can have the kill all button. Under Power Menu, that's when you press and hold the power button. You can set up the uh, options that you get. And if you go under Status Bar, that's where you can change the colors for most of the tweaks. You can also change the clock put the day of the week stuff like that up there notification power widget this is the uh, CM9 style toggles which I have enabled at the top up there see Wi-Fi Bluetooth the GPS backtrack play and then forward and then I have the AOKP ones underneath for fast charge sync Wi-Fi silent GPS and NFC if I can grab that um, let's go back. Navigation bar. You can have up to seven um, buttons down there at the bottom. You can change the colors of them. You can, of course, have your custom navigation bar toggles where you can go to custom apps. You can have up to five. As you can see, I have YouTube and I have Plume, which is my Twitter app, and then Google Now. So if you scroll down, if you go under number of navigation ring targets, you see you can set up to five. So let's go back. Lock screen. You can have up to eight shortcuts on your lock screen, which comes in handy a lot. So as you can see, I have my email, Gmail, Unlock, Google Now, Chrome browser, Google Plus, Facebook, and Twitter, or Plume, because I use Plume for Twitter. So w without even having to unlock and go to my home screen, I can go to any of these apps from just a lock screen, which is really handy. You can also have your weather, screen security, and also you can change the clock or you can have it on the center or you can have it on the left or the right. Let's see, I have mine in the center. And also you can rotate the lock screen. So let's go back. Under sound, you can have the volume panel, which is this. As you see, you can have it expanded or you can have it expandable where you hit the little settings next to it. And then you can mess with some headset values and stuff like that. If you go into display, this is where you can change the rotations. And also you can have the rotation on your lock screen. So you can do a full 360. So you can have your tablet upside down and all that. Which is kind of usual. I mean, for a tablet it's usual, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was my Galaxy Nexus, sorry. Um, notification light. This doesn't have a notification light. Or if it does, I have never seen a blink. So if it does, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it don't. And also you can go under performance and mess with the uh, CPU values and stuff like that. Just so I can show you guys real quick. I use Franco Kernel. If I can find the app. Okay, Franco Kernel Updater. It's like, I think, $2 off the market. It's really worth it. I change all of my settings for my kernel in here so I can underclock and overclock. I can set the governor. 
I I had changed like all of my stuff for the kernel in here. I guess it depends on where you want to change your uh, stuff, but I don't use this because I have the Franco kernel. But there's tons of other kernels that you can use, and also there's set CPU. I have that too, but I like to use the Franco kernel because it's it's specific for that kernel. So, and then you have the signage mod profiles. You have quiet hours, and of course you have themes. I, I leave it on the system theme for the for the review. There's a touch with theme. I think it looks like crap. No offense, but I prefer the system theme because that just looks horrible. So I leave it on the system because it's still got the touch with look and feel. If you go through all the settings. Maybe you can see them better if I turn the brightness down. Oh, froze a little bit. Are we good? Okay, here we go. And there you guys just witnessed a little bit of lag. There you go. Turn the brightness down. You can kind of see it a little bit better. Here are some of the icons that are all themed. And this is based on Codename Android 3.6, by the way. So if we go under Codename Android... See, it's based on signage and mod and AOKP kind of mixed it together. So, let's go back. Let's go into the apps because this does have pretty awesome built in apps. Excuse me. Which I think are pretty awesome, like Dice Player. So, I don't really have any videos on here, so I'm just going to go to this one. Whoa, it's loud. Wow, that just. But you can pop this out, and I didn't play it in time. Go back. We can pop this out. Oh no way! It's up here. Okay. <laughs> so we can pop this out, and like we can change, like kind of like the Galaxy S3 and all that, which I think is pretty cool. And then also, so we we can just exit out of the video itself. Which is just awesome. Because if you're on, if you're checking your email and you want to watch like a video at the same time, like I download Sons of Anarchy, like bam. And then when you're done, just hit the little X or click on it and it'll go to it. But let's go back. Let's see. The browser icon is themed. We have Double Twist. I don't use Double Twist, I'm not really sure about that. This does come, this comes with Flipboard. You can see the gallery is themed. Installed those. We have S-Memo. Let's check out S-Memo. This is where you can create notes and stuff like that. I haven't used it, but if you use it, it is a pretty handy feature. One thing that I've actually been playing with though is Paper Artist. Which this loads a lot faster on here than my Galaxy Nexus. You can actually color and... Like, when I'm really bored, you know, this this happens. So, this is pretty cool. And also, you can choose the different effects and stuff. So, well, I don't even, pretty sure you're not supposed to just cut the, I'm, okay. <laughs> let's just go back. Um, let's see. We also have Playboard. Um, I didn't try this, actually. I think this is just a list of apps that Samsung wants you to get which I guess is pretty cool let's go back um Photoshop touch I installed that it didn't come with this PlayStation mobile I installed we have Samsung tactile which I don't have any uh, NFC tags or is I don't think is that the NFC one I'm not sure um, we have Super Video, which is just a video player. So we have Samsung's Task Manager, and I'm pr I think that's it. Yeah, I installed everything else. So besides the custom Samsung widgets, which I didn't even show you guys. So let's go back. Let's go to the widgets. It takes a second to load. It only comes with I think the clock. So. It comes with the clock and the weather, and also Flipboard. But that's pretty much it, guys, for my review of the 
codenamed Sammy Rom. The performance, as you can see, is awesome. The battery life is great. I'm probably going to be using this ROM, actually, because battery life... I think I got better battery life on this than I did on AOKP and Sun Engine Mod. And this is kind of a mixture of both. But that was my full review, guys.